Hey everybody, it's Alana, and I know my throat's still breaking and stuff, but I was given a request to try something that I have not tried. I am i didn't have to buy anything to try this one. It is the Blood Drip Nails, and I've proceeded to look online and watch many a video tutorial on how to do this, and they all make it look like you know, extremely easy which means that I'm probably gonna mess this up pretty pretty wonderfully I have already prepped my nail by putting a peel off base coat and a nail polish that is a bold blank color this is actually not a black it is a really dark red so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna screw you onto my base over here and we're going to try this we're gonna try I've got a couple of tools. We're going to try. All right. So all that I've seen is people have used like a toothpick or like one of these orange sticks, which I keep using like scissors and shaving mine to keep it nice and clean. It's going to become nothing soon. But I actually have these dotting tools that I, some people have used too. I've also, just in case I need it, I've got an, a paintbrush with a really teeny tiny see if you can even see that there's this teeny tiny brush in there and that's gonna be good for this I hope I guess we get to just dive on in all right let's just toss down a bunch of red let's give her a try I'm gonna use the bigger end like a lot of these videos do all right now we're gonna make a couple of dots There's a dot. There's a dot. There's a dot. I don't even know if you can see these dots. Probably should have done it on white. I was trying to be unique. Alright. Now something I've seen a lot of people do is that they take the nail polish and they kind of like go along the edge. What's really great about this dotting tool is that it is purely metal so it doesn't hold on to any nail polish itself. And there's Genevieve at the door. Earlier she was being a ghost. It was adorable. You would have loved it. Okay, now we're going to try and just kind of <laughs> I'm messing this up so wonderfully. God, I love it when I mess up. Because then it shows you just how freaking hard this is. You know, these people make it look so easy. And you're like, seriously, how many times did it really take you? Alright. So there's like attempt number one. Which is pretty fantastically terrible. And we're going to try it again, I promise. We're going to try it again. So, let's just try to... Grape this off. My guess problem a lot of times is what happens underneath my nail. The whole freaking time my thumb is off camera. So this awesome job that I did, you can't even see. So rather than giving you what you can't see, I'm going to do it again on a different nail. Because this is how we do it. So let me prep a nail and then I'll get back to you in just a second. Also, this is, video is a direct shout out to Sona B who requested this. If you want me to try something specific drop a comment and I will totally do it obviously and I will make sure that I do it in such a way that you can see what I'm doing because that's important it very much is so without further ado take two or three take three this is take three so we're gonna try this again we're gonna try to recreate this on the rest of these because I'm not taking any chances I can't open this bottle uh. If you're new to my channel, check out my previous videos because I climb Polish Mountain. These can be interesting drips, aren't they?
All right, so there's what we start with. Paintbrush of doom. top I know this doesn't resemble blood at all. What I'm going to do is kind of dot in, like create, and kind of create more smooth lines to it. See? That looks closer. I wish I could refer to what I did before. See it. And I have memory loss to attention to detail like this. Knowing exactly what I did, like exactly, does not exist. I have a vague recollection. Thank you, Mr. Hits Me With His Car when we're 17. Totally deserved that awesome car for your birthday, dumbass. I'm literally using my less than stable hand. Um, to the advantage. This is luckily not something that requires a very steady hand for because you're literally just kind of raising. So now there's that so far. Blowing it off. And we'll wait. Um, I'll come back once this is dry. Alright, so this is all dry. I'm going to add my uh, kind of shimmery see-through red on top of the other red to make it darker. And to kind of give it a nice pretty shine, that's a squeaky bottle. My goodness. I'm going to just prop that like that because I'm going to use this to do it because it's a little more precise. Basically, this is just a step for me because I like it pretty and glittery and sparkly. And that's all this is. It's pretty and glittery and sparkly. This looks all sorts of goopy and gross like blood. That's so cool. My hardest part right now though is that I'm used to keeping my fingers like right up my nose practically doing these because I'm so blind. No color. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, and we'll get back to you in just a second. One eternity later. All right, so now I'm just going to take my angled little teeny brush here. See, because it's angled. I'm going to just add a little bit of white, bottom of the drip to look like a shine. Problem is you gotta move kind of quick because nail polish gets real stringy. When it starts to dry, I'm going to pretend like I didn't just touch my finger, but I totally did. That's the finished product. That looks so cool. Alright. It looks mostly cool. Last time with the outro. There's the finished product. I think it personally looks really cool. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep my voice down because somebody didn't close the freaking door. So it's wide open with the kids in the next room with their door wide open. And they're supposed to be getting to sleep, but they're really not. He's actually sitting in there with them because they won't stay in their beds so this is done i think it looked out it turned out pretty cool the bait moral of the story i guess is that you really just got to keep trying and don't try a toothpick 
I would suggest, even if you just have some like craft supplies, grab a paintbrush out of it, one of those little tiny ones, or do the trick where you take a pencil and you take like a little bit of your hair and you cut it just, just a little bit and you tape that in a bunch to the tip so that you kind of create your own long stemmed, quite similar to this long stem paintbrush. Um, I've seen a lot of people do that. It's a real easy trick if you don't have one of these. Um, I had to buy my paint, my brushes here are specifically meant for nail art. I got them on Wish. They arrived after a month and a half. So you can't always guarantee you can get something quick from there because there is no guarantee there. They just send it when they send it and it's all from China. I probably would have gotten better if I just paid 20 bucks for a kit from like Sally or something but I didn't so I think that it turned out really cool if you liked this hit that like button if you haven't already hit the subscribe make that bell ring too. become a member of the family um, if you want to see me do anything specific in the future drop a comment because obviously I'm gonna do it I see you love you always thinking of you and remember do it with passion or not at all.